Oof. What the hell is that? <laughs> All right, it's Sunday fun day. It's going on 7 p.m. My day just finished. Time for a little bit of a, what is it called, Sunday calm down? Um, yeah. You give me a disgusting, humid, hot summer day, which is what we're having, and I'm happy about it. You can hear the corn and the alfalfa growing around you. You give me a day like that, I'm going to get fruity. Uh, I actually am a pretty big Keystone, Keystone Light fan. They came out with this uh, Key Lightful Raspberry Lime Beer. Um, that was like late spring this year. I think it was this year. Yeah, it's not too bad. So, Fred, here's looking up your address. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to do something a little bit different here because I'm feeling plum lazy. We are going to look at the beef herd for two seconds. We are going to talk about the beef herd. We're going to talk about AI breeding bulls. And we're going to go for a ride. I've talked a lot about that new seeding alfalfa that's coming up in the smaller peas and oats field. That Alpharex AFX 469. We're going to take a good look at it. Give you a little look-see. Beef herd's doing just fine. Uh, saved a cow this morning. One of my reds <laughs> picked the wrong spot to lay down and was on a little bit of an incline. Anybody with some cattle right now already understands what I'm getting at. Uh, couldn't get up. What happens is they'll lay there and they'll bloat. They'll die. Pretty lucky that she still had her wits about her. She had a little bit of fight left in her. This is early this morning. Um, I had just finished up chores. Dad had come by, you know, we're, we're looking for, uh, you know, eat heats for breeding, which we got three AI bred this morning. Again, and that's still going on, I'll explain that. I was supposed to let the bulls out yesterday, but we decided not to. Anyway, yeah, uh, we tried to do it by hand, which is kind of dangerous. I do not suggest that, but we were kind of in a fit of panic. And um, that didn't work. So I uh, simply got the tractor just in case with a halter. We got it around her head and uh, got her pulled over. She got up and she was fine. Very lucky to say that I think that she got in that predicament probably about a couple hours before that happened. Otherwise, yeah, one of my uh, one of my red cows would have been dead this morning. It just happens. I don't care who you are. I don't, hear, I don't care what you have. I don't care what your yard looks. I don't care if you're half concrete. It's going to happen. Thank God it didn't happen this morning because that's, that's, real, that's real buster. Anyway, they're doing real good. They're about as disgusted as I am with this weather. Uh, it is uncomfortable. We got a little coughing going on over here. A uh, little heifer calf 1113. Uh, she got a bad, bad case of a pneumonia, but uh, she got shot up yesterday with a pile of new floor, and she's, she's swimming out of it. Uh, that little girl was on her deathbed that morning, and uh, we, got her, we got her riled up, got her in here, got her cornered, got her haltered. The amount of fight that she had in her for being half on her deathbed, I, I, man, these are some tough animals. But uh, she's climbing out of it. She is. We're going to see what she looks like tomorrow morning. Uh, she's in the same condition. <clears throat> she's going to get one more shot. One more and one more only. All right. So we got three more AI bread. Oh, man. This morning. Uh, we're well, well, well over the 50 head mark <clears throat> in AI, and it's, uh, it's been good. It's been a fantastic AI year. Things have really gone our way. Uh, 
just, you know, Dad and I, we, we have a system. We have a timed system. We both have our little nicks and knacks and our little jobs. And I tell you what, uh, <clears throat> on a big day, now this has only happened a couple times this year, but where there was five breedings in a morning, you give us five breedings in a morning, we'll have that done in an hour. And I'm talking from start to finish, getting them in the corral system, some grain to coax them in there, closing gates, running them through and everything else. It's been, uh, it's been fantastic. Well, I'm home this week. <clears throat> um, we're going to leave that alone. I'm home this week, so it was decided the other day to not let the bulls out yesterday. That was the due date for the bulls to go out. Because I still only have four out of the 15 reds bred AI'd. So we're going to see what happens in the next few days or better. And uh, maybe we can get lucky, not to mention some more new heifers. Uh, we've only got a small handful of those new heifers, uh, which, you know, I kept 18 of them back. We'll see what happens. But then it's time for the bulls to go to work, and it's, it's time to hand it up. It really is. Um, everybody's pretty tired around here. It's a good tired though. It's good. Uh, yeah, everybody's doing real good. Everybody's happy, well fed. They continue to be locked up, of course, because we're still AIing. They are confined to the yards. This yard, and they've got that big yard there uh, to roam as well free. <clears throat> I've gone through a lot of hay here on this uh, what I'm going to call AI yard lockdown but it's okay um, there's a lot of hay to go around this year so it's okay it just everything just worked out real good but uh, <clears throat> yeah you can I don't know if you can see her hey you're getting a shot in the morning regardless period Anyway, it's just, it's gone real good. There's nothing else to say. Fred, you old scoundrel, you. You old dirty dog, you. <laughs> I've been a pretty good boy lately. I've been adulting. I've been keeping busy in responsibilities. <clears throat> um, that might change with a few beers here tonight. I'm whooped. Um, tomorrow's a lay down day. You know what we're going to talk about this week out in the field? <clears throat> oh, let's go for a cruise for crying out loud. What do you think? Daddy came running across the railroad tracks. Said, boy, you won't believe your ears. There's a chicken on the front porch of Johnny Stacks. He ain't played like that in years. Ain't played nothing like that in years.
some brand new strings. Johnny's got some brand new strings. Fred, I guarantee I have more fun than you do. You old scoundrel son of a gun, you. All right. Uh, Sunday fun day. I'm okay with the Sunday fun day as long as the responsibilities got taken care of and all is well and everything's in good shape. <clears throat> all right. I, uh, man, it feels good to be pleased. I, I, I don't know how else to put it. This is just beautiful. Now, I told you, and it's eminent, when you, uh, when you nurse crop, mother crop, a new stand of anything, um, especially alfalfa, <clears throat> with peas and oats. You will get an oat regrowth, which is fine. Not a lot of it. You've seen it for yourselves. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, what, what I'm going to do here with this little field here, um, actually, it's about, uh, what the hell is this? It's about eight, eight and a half acres. This is going to go for uh, alfalfa baleage. When the timing's correct, and we this is gonna sit there will be no chance of a third crop here i actually i will not allow it um this is gonna sit till it's nice and thick let's just say mid-september third week of september and i know that's a ways away it's gonna get a fresh haircut um all this tonnage is gonna get wrapped it's gonna make some excellent bales and uh, it's obviously going to be left alone with some time for regrowth to withstand the winter. <clears throat> but yeah, this uh, this new alfalfa here that I'm doing now is... Uh... Folks, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not into that crap. All right. <clears throat> um, I don't think there's anybody out there that's actually going to pay me to sell something, okay? I'm just, I, I do these videos and I do share what I do and, and some seeds, seed companies, varieties, because uh, maybe by God it will help somebody. That's, that's the reason I'm doing this. <clears throat> yeah, beautiful. And, of course, I got full in minds of that, uh, my larger peas and oats field that, of course, has been harvested off and wrapped. I have full in minds of that, getting a fresh haircut, uh, hopefully the second, third week of September as well. It'll be worth its weight in gold. Well, number one, this is going to need a haircut anyway. It'll be worth its weight in gold for that first cutting next year. In my experience, new seeding alfalfa that hadn't been touched the year that it was planted. The following year, don't get me wrong, it's excellent feed, it's great, but it's full of, there's some crap in there for the lack of better words. Giving these <clears throat> two fields of the new seeding alfalfa will give it that, uh, It'll delete that. Next year, you know, it'll just be prime pure alfalfa. I don't have the words. I think you know what I'm trying to say. But, uh, all right, let's talk about alfalfa because this is a big alfalfa week. Uh, I've got tomorrow to continue to catch up plus full on maintenance, maintenance everything. In particular, <clears throat> That square baler. I ended up throwing a bunch of new parts in that square baler. And we got to dial it in. 
Um, it's just been loosely put together. Spare the details. But we're looking at a monster square bailing week this week. I'm taking down the uh, what I call my 99% pure alfalfa field. <clears throat> Not to mention the grassy alfalfa field which that son of a buck is about 80-85% pure alfalfa, if not better. So it's time. Uh, I've got a, I've got a quite a few orders to uh, fill, which I'm very happy and thankful for. Um, a lot of people are, uh, <clears throat> especially your horse, you know, your athletic horse, uh, boarders and workers, you know, they're looking for that richer alfalfa deal. So, uh, yeah, a lot of square bales. I uh, even got some 4x5 uh, round bale orders, but uh, we got rain coming tonight. It's starting at about 10, 11 o'clock, and it's going to go through a good portion of tomorrow. Hopefully it's not too much where it's mushy fields, but Tuesday morning, uh, it's we're going like hell. Dad and I are both going to leave the farm with the disc binds. He's going to take one field, I'll take the next. Whoever is done goes and helps the other person. We're going to wait a few days, go from there. Uh, the goal is well over 2,000 of uh, what I'm gonna I'm gonna label it 80 20 alfalfa and then of course the 99% pure uh, between both fields uh, the goal is a little better hopefully than uh, 2,000 small squares whatever doesn't sell which I've got a, a, a great amount of uh, you know prearranged orders <clears throat> Not prepaid I won't do that that's that's trouble but uh, whatever doesn't sell within those two days of making square bales of alfalfa will be thrown up in the hay mow for our own use I'm lacking behind here on small squares here this year I put a big concentration towards the round bales which the farm comes first period so that and I can see spitting out maybe uh, 30, 40, I doubt 50, uh, four by five round bales of both of those varieties. Um, <clears throat> a small amount of it is already spoken for. The rest of it, I'm gonna make a decision uh, in a couple of days. I'm either going to uh, wrap it for safekeeping for uh, good wintertime sales, or I do believe I'm probably going to throw it in the shed. I'm going to dismantle where the bull, the bullpen was. I'm going to dismantle that, and that corner is going to be used for, uh, I could probably put about 30, 30, 40, four by fives in there, stack them up real high. We'll see what happens. Keep them there for safekeeping, you know. Long story short, big busy week coming up. Oh, going to lose you. Going to lose you. And uh, I plan on taking you with me. Yeah, we're going to get some nice uh, small square bale footage. And um, cutting the alfalfa and everything else. So that's about it. Folks, I'm going to let you go. Uh, I'm going to take a look at a couple more properties. I want to take a look at that last uh, field I just did. See if that regrowth, uh, what it's looking at. And I got some paperwork to do tonight. A couple things to put away. And... Hopefully sit down by 9 p.m. to uh, the new uh, the new episode of Yellowstone, which has become my absolute most favorite, greatest show in the world. It's it's great. So that's about it. Happy Sunday, fun day to everybody. I hope everybody had a real nice weekend. I really mean that. Hope everything's going your way, and uh, hope all is well and everybody's ready for tomorrow Monday. Start the week off right. We're gonna talk to you sooner and later.